Before finishing this example, I'd like to take a look at the flow trajectory so we can see how the flow moves around the room and also to see what that warning earlier from the solver was all about. I'll right click on flow trajectories and select insert. For the selection, I'll choose the inlet volume flow boundary condition. That way the inside face of the inlet lid is automatically selected for me. And I can click the green check. You can see the flow trajectories with their color representing the relative humidity at that point in the path. Also notice that we do see some circular trajectories right around the door. This is the recirculation that caused the vortex warning earlier. Let's animate the trajectories. I'll just save out the animation and you can see the flow. When you record and save an animation, whatever orientation the model is in will be the orientation that the animation video is created in as well. So if you want the animation to show a top view of the flow trajectories, you can just rotate the model to a top view and save the animation again. I'll give this animation a new name. And click Save. This gives us a pretty clear picture of how the flow circulates throughout the kitchen, as well as the humidity at different locations within the room.